welcome back to L7's uh, YouTube channel. We've got a lot going on. We've got the Jeep ready to uh, be painted. So this is the LJ in question, built by Tribe 16 locally, and they did a fantastic job. Obviously, you know, V8 swapped, long arms, custom everything, 42s. This thing is bad. So we blew our little makeshift booth up. Mike's just finishing the prep work. So we've got to wash the booth out, make sure everything's clean, then blow this off, make sure this is clean, and then we'll go ahead and uh, shove it in and start masking. This is everything we got going on. Even though you're not going to see any of uh, any of this stuff, we're still prepping it and painting it right. And then the commando's in next for priming, and obviously we're still working on the defender. Now let's grab the pressure washer, clean out our little makeshift booth. It's not perfect, but it's fine for us right now, isn't it, Michael? Waiting for the walls to cave Like memories reminding me that nothing stays the same I'm over this town, I'm ready to Even if you do have one of these booths, you have to clean everything, man. If you've got a dirty paint area, you can have dirty paint. It's that simple. It's just wiping everything down, being super, super thorough, making sure we get everywhere we're gonna mask, especially like behind, obviously, all the edges. Okay, so we've got some 2540 GTM that we're gonna use as, obviously, our sealer. Quick rundown on the guns. 1.8, primer, obviously. 1.4 TE10 sealer. 1.3 TE10, uh, sorry, TE20 base coat. 1.3 T110 clear coat. And obviously they're all, you know, DeVilbis Pro Lights because that's all I will ever use. New sheet out for the mask, air fed mask, mandatory Red Bull, mask is down there. Now let's get this mixed. Obviously with any, any sealer, make sure you thoroughly, thoroughly mix the, the tub. If you guys want me to go into more detail about all the clears that, and primers that we use from England, um, any of the base coats that we use or anything, just comment below and, uh, and let me know. It is a lot different to uh, some of what you guys may use over here in the States. Set up the sealer, DeVilbis, again, like I said, 1.4 TE10, obviously DeVilbis air fed mask. Tack bag bunched up and aired out. Gonna go wipe down. Shoot a couple coats of this sealer. going to now mix up the base coat Michael is here that paint looks really red yeah it looks really good super super red and we're using standox which is a, a premium brand when it's it comes premium to color. It's a premium color mm -hmm. so come with us while we mix the base coat two yeah. to one it's gonna look like a lollipop red it's gonna look it's gonna it's gonna look like a lollipop okay so now we've got that little here, some more out the way because we mm. wanted to give you guys a treat. Yeah. We're gonna mix up our base coat. So this is Standox Red Base, and we always tend to use Standox or, or Dupont with our base coats, just because pigment content is everything. We do not want this turning pink. Standox two to one. And the issue I have, and I have always had, is <laughs> pouring this from here into there because I can never do it without spilling. This is gonna be no exception. I should get a pourer. This is not my first rodeo. I just check my lines, two to one. Right. Oh. Damn, that's not a bad pour. There's gonna be somebody in the comments that will tell me the mask and tape trick. I know, I'm aware of the mask and tape trick. We are gonna go up and up and up. I always do two to one and a little splash. We're going to get this all mixed up thoroughly and then we're going to grab the DeVilbis with the 1.3 and the TE20 and then we're going to go in there and uh, shoot some colour and see how it looks. And we'll leave it uh, 30 minutes or so and then we'll hit with that quartz clear. And you guys over here are going to be like, where can I get that clear coat? We've got you covered. Don't you worry, we've got you covered on that. Let's get a filter. Michael, have you learned anything today? What have you learned, in fairness, let's, let's, tell, let's tell the audience. What have you learned? Yeah, T20. 
I learned how to wipe down panels. Learned Correctly. How to properly back mask. Yep. Yep. And right now we're learning how to mix sealer and base coat. Learned that putting the extra days of cleaning makes the painting job so all hours about, easier. Yep. It's all about prep. So, right, let's get this mask on and then we're going to get in the booth. Right, so what we're going to do now, just lightly, lightly tack off before we clear, just to make sure the panels are good. I don't know why I'm yelling, I've got a microphone. Some people like to do it, some people don't like to do it. The base coat went down really good. But look, we're getting nothing off of it, so that's good, I like that. We've got pretty damn good coverage, man. This is, this is nice, this is very, very nice. As you can see, barely anything on the uh, on the tack rag. So now we're going to go uh, mix up our clear. Now this clear coat is called Quartz, and it's from England. I'm very fond of because I actually helped develop this product along with spray guns direct me and chris oh god we've been dealing with each other for over eight years now so we've got our voc which is a very very high solid tough clear coat the 1520 hardener and i might put a little bit of speedster in it speedster helps with curing it doesn't help with drying as such it helps with curing basic two to one mix um, i know we're going to definitely go through uh, probably two cups but with the clear coat i do like to hose it on it's about to be a fog machine in there, but we're going to add a hardener up to four, and then we'll do 10% speedster. And this is going to be golden, crystal clear, as you want and as you would expect from a very, very high grade um, clear coat. Do not confuse this with the, the rubbish that we have over here. This is a ridiculously high solid, high quality clear coat. The resins in this are phenomenal. The UV absorbers in this you know are phenomenal back in the day i actually tested this against the dupont 3800 um, and of course it wiped the floor with it take a few minutes just make sure this is done uh, i'll be running it through a 1.3 pro light with a t110 air cap and that is definitely my favorite air cap to be able to hose this stuff on with i'm gonna let some clear Naturally, with us having the extraction that we have, which isn't very good, came out great. We are going to have to obviously de nib and buff. Extraction is not great, it is what it is. Insignificant compared to the finish we're going to get from this. So I'm super happy. Right, she's on the booth. So, like I said, we've got a de nib, we know that, and whatnot. And all of this is bloody covered, which kind of sucks with all the armor and everything that's got to go on. But I'm super happy, so we're going to let this go off and then uh, get the rest of the stuff painted. So as you can see, the body lines aren't bad on, on just a set of half doors. So obviously we're going to block these, make them sloop super flat. But I just want to touch on like cleaning stuff up like this to really emphasize your paint job, which is exactly what we did on these. So obviously we're not finished with these, but you can see we went right in with our flat discs and we smoothed all this out and then when we go to prime it we'll do exactly the same because we don't need any build really here and then we'll obviously you know epoxy sealer base and clear but doing little things like this this is what's going to make your paint job stand out stuff like this we've got uh, a few little bits and we've got to just prime up so i'm going to let mike do it because he's spent ages prepping this grill and I feel it's only right as a little bit of a reward that he gets to shoot primer for the first time. Now what do we have to do, Michael? Fucking wet somebody's ass. 
gonna wipe somebody's ass. Hey, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Okay, so in we come. And we've got our wax and grease remover. Michael knows to wear gloves, knows to fold this over, one to apply, one to remove, and to not let the solvent dry. So everything's wiped down. Got my PRI Pro Light 1.4. We've got the, uh, the TE10 on there. Absolutely perfect for sealer. We'll spray this at about two bar. Best products on the market. We're using our quartz high build primer four to one. We're gonna use the 1.8 to get this uh, laid down. And we're gonna put a couple coats down. If you're looking for a good primer, this covers great and sands down like butter you're gonna to want to shoot me a message what are you smiling for behind the camera yes, <laughs> now gonna give me a ring give me a ring on the telly yeah so like i said this is four to one you're gonna probably need a, a gun full i suspect we're gonna to go to the top it's like motley crew take <laughs> it to the top dun, 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 dun. and i'm gonna put the hardener in something else i'm gonna do i'm gonna add 10% of the speedster. That's all mixed. And you can tell when it's mixed because it will go from like sloppy to silky. And yes, I always filter my primers. People are like, well, why are you gonna sand it down? It's all about creating layers of perfection. That's how I look at it. This is going through a 1.8. But now we're ready to lay some primer. We love to go just by time and withering away. How do you feel? Like I need to do better. It's your first attempt. <laughs> For his first attempt, you did absolutely fine. So now we're gonna get these cleaned out, let that dry, pull it out the boots. everybody again I actually remembered the mics this time and you have seen me mix up that epoxy sealer before so we're gonna skip all that and we're just gonna get straight to uh we're just gonna get straight to painting I'm Johnny Knoxville welcome to Jackass <laughs> Get some base coat laid. Yeah, I'm about to do that. Yeah, yeah. sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, go, I'm gonna go take a nap. Fighting. There is no room for you, but I find so 